All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to talk about Darren Waller and him announcing his retirement. So he spent 2023 with the Giants, and he was a part of the Ravens and the Raiders, but he has called it a career. And actually, one thing that I was looking at with the article that I have here is he there was a uh, he experienced a health scare in November and he talked about and this is what he was saying he was on a he was on a podcast and he said in between each breath I'm yelling out like help so maybe I could wake the neighbors up and maybe they'd be like what is that and they'd come through I don't know how long the time was it felt like forever and I'm like and yeah he talked about that he thought he was going to lose his life he said he was on the couch and he said it was a very scary event. It was kind of similar to, oh, he talked about, it was kind of similar to my overdose, just like the power plug just being pulled out, and I just couldn't breathe anymore. Oh, wow. And he also said, I come out of that experience, and I'm sitting in the hospital, and I go back into my daily life, and I'm like, pretty clear, I almost just lost my life, and I don't know if I really feel like I would have died, that I would have felt great about how my life was going if I died at the time. Yeah, so I I didn't realize that, that he went through this. But it also said how he spent th- three and a half days in the hospital. He couldn't stand up and use the restroom or feed himself. Yeah, no, I, I didn't realize any of this. You know, this is, the, this is like the first time I'm hearing about this. So I think, you know, when, when you experience something like that and you're playing a sport like football, uh, yeah, I mean, you know... It, and not only just that, but also just like injuries as well. I mean, he's, I, I went through his injury history last week. Yeah. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I was hearing about this. So, uh, yeah, that is a pretty scary situation there. Um, so, you know, you got to do what's best for you. You know, as he probably, I mean, I think there's a part of you that probably still wants to play, but you want to, you got to choose your health at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, so I, I, like I said, I was not aware of this. So that, I, again, that is a scary situation. Um, but there was some other stuff that he's gone through this off season, of course, you know, the situation with, uh, with Kelsey Plum uh, from the WNBA and yeah, so you know, it, it's just, you know, it's it's unfortunate, and you wish him nothing but the best, of course, um, you know, with his future endeavors, um, you know, but, yeah, it, se- it seems like he has gone through a lot, because, uh, again, because I, 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 again, with the health scare, I really was not, I was not aware of that, but, um, yeah, I mean, Waller, you know, he, he only, going back to now fo- the football side of things, 52 catches, 552 yards, and one touchdown in 2023 with the Giants. He was limited to 12 games. And the Giants brought him over to kind of be, you know, that I guess that number one option, you know, pass catcher, and, and really help Daniel Jones out. But it just never really, it just never really happened. And at the time of the Giants making that trade, yeah, I was happy about it. I thought that he could definitely help the offense, help Daniel Jones. But there was also that part of myself and my friends as well where we thought, yeah, this is good, but it's only a matter of time before he gets hurt. And that's exactly what happened. And now the Giants got a, you know, that's why they went out and they drafted a tight end. They they signed a couple of guys. I mean, not guys that are notable names, uh, Jack Stahl and Chris Manhurts. They drafted, yeah, they drafted a tight end in the fourth round, uh, Theo Johnson. But you also, you got Daniel Bellinger there, you got Lawrence Cager. But, yeah, I mean, there's no, I mean, Bellinger, I thought, could be a good player, you know, before they got Waller. So maybe, you know, he could take the next step. Or And Lawrence Cager made some plays for them when they made the playoffs. So I don't know. Maybe, we, maybe they get production out of that position. They surprise us, but... Yeah, you just were kind of hoping that Waller was going to be that player, and that's just not, and that just wasn't the case. 
But um, yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's unfortunate. So Waller, he finished his career with 350, uh, 350 career receptions, uh, 4,124 receiving yards, 20 touchdowns, and a Pro Bowl selection in 2020. And you know, like I said, wish him nothing but the best in his retirement. Um, it just it just didn't work out with the Giants. And he was a productive player with the Raiders for a couple of years. Um, I saw a video of him catching his first career touchdown pass, and that was back when he was with the Ravens. And uh, that was when Joe Flacco was playing quarterback for the Ravens. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, at one point, he was... I, I said this last week. He was up there with... Um, with Travis Kelsey and George Kittle as like the top one of the top tight ends in the league. He was really that good. And when he came over from the Raiders to the Giants, you know, I was saying to, you know, my mom that, that you know, this is going to be one of the best tight ends the Giants have had in years. But it again, it just did not it did not work out that way. Um And and you know what it happens? You know, the Giants took a chance on him. It was one of the the draft picks that they got in the Kadarius Tony trade, I believe. So, it, you know, you basically traded Kadarius Tony for Darren Waller, and you know, we were kind of hoping it was going to work out, but, it, you know, unfortunately it didn't. So, I mean, I don't think it's the end of the world for the Giants, but, you know, I, I mean, you were kind of hoping that he would be someone that can contribute for years to come and, you know, help whether it's Daniel Jones playing quarterback or, you know, our future quarterback or their future quarterback, whoever it may be. But that's not the case, and the Giants are going to have to figure it out, and they they have. I, I they, they saw the writing on the wall. That's why they went out and signed a couple of tight ends, and they drafted one. So, you know, they, they, they were prepared for it, but... You know, I think you were kind of hoping that maybe that was not the case and Waller could come back and, you know, give it another shot, have a better year, but it's not the case. So, well, like I said, I, I wish him nothing but the best. And, I, again, I was not aware of, you know, his health scares that he had. And, you know, it's it's scary. It, it, it definitely is. And, and, you know, thankfully, you know, he's okay because he was able to, you know, talk about it. But, yeah, I... You had, no, you had no idea. That's some of the stuff that happens behind the scenes that you're just not aware of. So, and like I said, you know, when you experience that and you play, you know, you have the career that you have playing in a game like football, yeah, it's, you know, you, you don't want something to happen on the field. Definitely don't. So, um, you know, and like I said, he's going, he's going through some other stuffs as well, other stuff as well with the, the divorce so, yeah, um, like I said, wish him nothing but the best. Um, you know, I wish it would have, I wish things would have worked out better, you know, for him and the Giants and, um, you know, but that, it just, it was just not the case, you know, and now you just hope that you know, everything goes well in his retirement and, you know, we'll see what the Giants do now. I mean, they had contingency plans for this, and I don't expect really any of the time. I mean, maybe, I mean, Daniel Bellinger, I think right now, you got to look at him as the tight end one, in my opinion, but who knows? Um, we'll have to wait and see. But that's really all I have to say on the Darren Waller stuff. Uh, again, you know, he was one of the best tight ends in the league at one point. You know, in the in the later part of the 2010s and the you know the 2020s now, but um, yeah, that's it. He is called a called called it a career, and like I said, like I've been saying constantly, wish him nothing but the best in his retirement. So let me know what you guys think about Darren Waller announcing his retirement. What's your favorite moment from his playing career? So. With that being said, we're going to take our third break of the show. And then when we come back, we'll talk about the Green Bay Packers. We'll comment on their um, 
wide receiver situation. Well, Jordan loves comments on the wide receiver situation and why the Packers don't necessarily have to have a number one wide receiver in Jordan Love's eyes. So we'll take our break and then we will be right back. So stick around and we will be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 